inside. And you can go straight to hell. Oh, she's dead. Surrender the page, please. Nice meet you, lady. Surrender, or be destroyed. Ah, oh, they dug up Junior, too. Child. Struck a nerve, huh? Then you're gonna love this. <laughs> Heard you were dead, Johnny. That was the idea. I'd ask what you were doing here, but... I just pumped a few rounds in his chest. The legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much You're of that. This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. You cannot resist, child. The prophecy will be fulfilled. Maybe so. But not today. Let's hope not. Not so tough without that little pop gun of yours. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy this. Not as much as me. Somehow, you get uglier every time I see you. And you. Stop the midnight sun. The entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you gonna follow him? Nah. He may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Well, what is this, a duet? Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other. Now. There is nothing else, Captain. 
I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. From what I have seen, he should not be much trouble for you. I've been tracking and fighting him for decades. If he was easy to handle, trust me, I would have put him away for good ages ago. This last time, though, he's gotten even more deadly. Then I hope you can rise to the challenge. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Oh, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. You talk like that, now you have to tell me some stories. Oh, okay. Let's see. I've been all over the planet. And a few other planets besides. Other... planets? <laughs> yeah. We're not alone in the universe, you know. There's the Kree, there's Skrulls, there's the Brood. Most aliens you're better off avoiding, but there's a few good ones out there. I'll tell you though, after a while, all you really care about is a nice soft bed. I see the way you're looking at me. Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what. I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. He used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance. Until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow, we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine, Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. and She grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse, Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. 
It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me.